Hey guys, it's Shane. And if you didn't know, we just reintroduced the Blackbird Brass for the first time in a few years. And with that reintroduction of brass, I wanted to make a video today talking about some of the differences between stainless steel and brass. So today I'm gonna to talk about five differences between stainless steel and brass so that you can make an informed decision for your next safety razor. First, let's talk weight. So stainless steel razors are already pretty hefty. And honestly, brass is pretty similar, but it is a little heavier. Brass is about 7% more dense than stainless steel, so it's about 7% heavier. And on the Blackbird, that means that the stainless steel Blackbird weighs in at about 94 grams, and the brass Blackbird comes in at just over 100 grams and around 101 grams. Now that may not sound like a huge difference, but every little bit does matter. So if you're the kind of person who likes weight to do the work for you, likes to let gravity pull the razor down on your skin instead of adding pressure, and brass might be just a little bit better for you. All right, the second point is patina. This is a big one. So stainless steel obviously looks the same on day one as it will on you know, 10 years out. Brass, on the other hand, is going to oxidize and develop patina as it ages. And this can be really appealing to some people and a huge turnoff to others. And that's because some people simply like the way patina looks. It'll darken sometimes evenly, that dark kind of bronzy brown color, but sometimes it can be a little splotchy. And sometimes if you let it go really far, it'll turn even a little bit green. Like if you think about um, like an old diving helmet that has a kind of like speckly green on it, that can happen as well. The pros here is that every razor is going to patina a little bit differently. So your razor will be completely unique and unlike any other razor that's out there, even other Blackbirds. But that also means that somebody else's patina might be a little better looking than yours. So it's a, you know, you have to weigh that. You have to decide whether the risk of having potentially an ugly patina that you can't control is worth the benefit of having a really cool, unique patina. And if you hate the idea of a razor that's going to age in kind of an unpredictable way, you should stick with stainless steel. But if you want something unique, something really interesting and unlike anything else, brass will get you there. The third point is kind of a minor one, but it does matter. And this is smoother threads. Brass is known for its self-lubricating properties. And that just means that when you have two brass pieces together, they just glide against each other much better than other materials. So when you assemble your razor, brass is gonna feel just a little bit better. Now this doesn't change the function at all. Stainless steel threads are certainly strong and actually stronger than brass. And uh, both materials perform equally well. And once the razor is assembled, it doesn't matter. But when you turn that handle on or thread it off, it just feels a little more premium in a brass razor. The fourth point of difference is heat retention. This is another minor one, but all these little differences add to your entire shaving experience. So a stainless steel razor doesn't really absorb heat that well. It doesn't retain that heat very well. So if you put a stainless steel razor in you know, a bowl of hot water and let it heat up, it'll cool off very quickly. So you're not gonna get that warm razor during the shave if that's something you're after. Brass, however, has a specific heat capacity that's twice that of stainless steel. Basically all that means is that it takes twice as much energy to change the temperature of brass as it does stainless steel. So it retains that heat better as well. So if you like to warm up your sink and drop your brass razor in it for a few minutes, it's actually gonna hold on to that heat for a pretty significant part of your shave. And so that adds a little bit to the luxuriousness of your shave, and it might be something you like. It may not be something you care about because it doesn't really impact the actual shaving results, but it might just make it feel a little better for you. And so if that sounds attractive to you, brass is the way to go. If you don't care, then it doesn't matter. Stainless steel or brass will work just fine. The fifth point of differentiation is price. So in the world of CNC machining, it's all about speed and material cost, but really it's about speed. The faster you can machine something, the cheaper it's gonna be. So brass is a softer material and it machines really easily. And that means that we can machine it more quickly and less expensively. The brass Blackbird sells at 169, while the stainless steel Blackbird sells at 200. And the difference in that price is all about the speed and ease of machining. All right, I hope all those points help you make an informed decision. In reality, both of these materials are perfectly good. There is no best material for a safety razor. And the differences here are pretty subtle. So whether you like brass or stainless, it's really about aesthetics and feel and the personality of the razor and the personality of your shave. So it really comes down to a personal choice. I can't tell you whether one will work better for you or not. You have to decide. 
And it's really going to come down for most people to that patina. Do you like the way brass looks, you know, a year or two down the road? Or does it look dirty to you? That's, for most people, where it's going to come down to. The other points are all valid, but it's really about that patina, I think. But either way, brass or stainless steel, you're going to get a hell of a Blackbird. So please comment below whether you like brass or stainless steel in your razors. Uh, we'd love to hear about it. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.